With the new set marching machines, there are some new insane legendary creatures. And while many are quite good, the most powerful is Yargle and Multani. This is because it's an 18 power creature. And if you haven't seen Yargle and Multani, this is a six mana creature that says, but it's an 18 six, which is important for this deck, trust me. But how are we gonna abuse this card? In a recent modern league, Nakunaku got a 5-0 with a list playing Yargle and Kragenwick Cremator? If you don't know what Kragenwick Cremator is, it's a four mana five, four that says when Kraken Rick Cremator enters the battlefield, discard a card at random. If you discard a creature card this way, Kraken Rick Cremator deals damage equal to the card's power to target player or planeswalker. Which means if you can discard a Yargle and Montani, you get to do 18 damage to a player. And in a format where there's fetch lands and shock lands, this is easy to do. And while this combo seems hard to achieve, we do this multiple times. Stealing many games out of nowhere, which we should have lost. But when looking at the rest of the list, it's just a fair Jun midrange deck. With powerful cards like Red and six dragon rage channeler tarmogoyf and fable the mirror breaker and we even have a traverse plan in this deck which means that you can find the combo grab a cavern of souls which we are playing one of or even go with a fair strategy of tarmogoyf and drcs so we're going to be taking this crazy combo through a league of modern and showing you how dominant it really is match one we are on the draw and hand looks amazing it goes turn one planes we draw a traverse for turn we'll fetch shock for a blood crypt and lead on a thought seize and it looks like we're up against some taxes variants so we're going to take the stone forge Pono plays the planes into athalia we draw a bobble for turn so we'll play that play forest and cast a hate wire might on the upkeep we will look at their top card with bobble seeing a giver of runes opponent attacks us for two and post combat they run out of giver missing a land drop draw a thought seize for turn into a copper line gorge so let's play our thought seize and archon's the best card in the hand so we'll take that one playing our carpet line gorge opponent tax in for two no blocks for us and again no land drop for the opponent we draw a ren took up on our wood foothills play our land and pass back opponent attacks us we'll block with haymire might gaining two going up to 11 an opponent plays out a stone forge grabbing a cauldra we top deck a fable we'll lead on down ticking on thalia then we'll cast a traverse the Uvenwald, grabbing another haywire might and then we'll play out our fable opponent plays the planes and activates stone forge put it in a cauldra and they attack down our ren we draw a bobble for turn we're not going to use fable we'll attack in for two we'll Cast a Traverse, grabbing a Yargle and Montani, playing Bobble, playing a Haywire Might, and going for the combo. We'll target the opponent and discard a Yargle Montani, dealing 18, and we win the game. Yes. Let's get on to sideboarding. We're going to take out four Thoughtsies for Haywire Might, a Shattering Spree, and two pushes. For game two, our hand's a little two land lights. So we got a mole. Our six is much better. We'll put back a Wood Foothills. Oh, it goes turn one planes into an Aether Vial. We find a Bobble for turn, so we'll cast that. Bobbling ourselves, doing the Bobble trick, seeing a DRC, and we would like that. I'm going to play the planes into leona and arbiter and on the end step we will tar fire that top deck a cremator great draw we'll fetch shock in a blood crypt play out our drc and pass the opponent opponent takes up vial and cast out athalia we draw tarmogoy for turn we'll tack in for three and we'll play it slow here holding up the bolt on our end step they put in leona and arbiter in and on their upkeep we will lightning bolt the arbiter and we will keep a land on top they ticked up vial and no attacks or lands we draw the land for turn and before combat they battle an archon we still have to attack and while goif is the best play we're going to play a traverse giving us a chance chance to uh, combo kill the opponent next turn and we'll pick up a forest opponent on taps going to combat attacking for four taking us down to 13 then cast out leon and arbiter so we'll fetch in response getting a stomping ground we draw another cremator so if we whiff we might have another chance at this so let's cast our cremator targeting the opponent discarding a goif dealing seven still a pretty good deal we'll tack in with drc putting them down to four. Opponent did nothing on their turn we draw drc so we got a 50 50 chance of just absolutely annihilating them come on cremator drum roll please yeah. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's get into match number two. Match two, we're on the play, and hand looks quite good. We'll lead on a turn one bobble and do the trick. Top card is the bolt, and that's a fine draw, so we'll put in a verdant. Opponent goes turn one mountain into a Voldaren Epicure. Into a Memnite, looks like we're up against my eight whack deck. Ooh, and we top deck a Goyf, good draw. We'll play that out for turn. Opponent plays a mountain into a blast, killing our Tarmogoyf, and attacking us down to 14. We draw another Goyf for turn, so we'll cast Traverse. Taking up a basic forest, playing that, and casting out a Goyf. Opponent plays a Memnite into a Chromatic Star. We draw a DRC for turn, so we'll play out a fable passing back to the opponent they crack the star drawing a card play a den of the bugbear and kick out a bushwhacker tacking in with everything and we will trade off we're down to 10 we draw a land for turn we'll use our fable and loot away a blackleaf cliffs and another fable drawing land and drc we'll run out both of our drcs play our land and attack in for six put untaps and cast a synthesizer finding a goblin grenade oh no they cast a goblin grenade on us and in response 
we'll fetch and we're down to four and on the end step we'll bolt the epic here then in a fable and opponent scoops it up before we even play out our cremator we're gonna take out our fables for fatal push and haywire might for game two our seven looks amazing opponent goes turn one epic here into a mem knight we untap join a forest we'll go black leaf cliffs into a dragon's race channeler opponent plays a mountain and attacks in for two we will not block then cast a gleeful demolition getting three one ones on our upkeep we'll bolt the mem knight surveilling and we'll bin a mistress bobble we top tuck a traverse we'll play a mire out and pass to the opponent opponent plays a so Kanzan into Epicure, then surges a Bushwhacker, tax in for a boatload of damage, so let's fetch out a mountain, bolt the Bushwhacker, and I think we have to keep this on top, it's way too good, so, and we will block an Epicure, going down to seven, we untap, and we will evoke out our Fury, killing their board, we'll play the Forest for turn, passing to the opponent, opponent plays a Star, cycles it right away, plays land and passes, we draw a Thoughtseize for turn, we'll play a Swamp and craft our Traverse, and sadly, I do want to grab Yargle and Montani, but I think DRC is the right play, opponent uses the Blood to Cycle, a mem knight away Ooh, we top tech a yargle montani will the thoughts use them and land might be a little too weak but i'm gonna keep it on for science and we're gonna take the goblin grenade attacking them for three opponent kicks out a bushwhacker into another bushwhacker killing us so let's get into game number three game three our starter has the combo and a way to get to four mana we'll go turn one fetch out a mountain play a drc cast a bobble and surveil and we'll bend a blood crypt bobbling the opponent right away seen a synthesizer we draw cliffs off the bobble and they fetch out a mountain and go turn one epicure we draw another chain Chandler. We'll shock in a stomping ground, cast out a Rin, and we'll bin a Traverse. Down ticking on the Epicure, and we'll pass back, holding up a blocker. I'm gonna place another Epicure into a Coldolta Rebirth. We untap, find another land. We'll play a Cliffs, cast out another Channeler, then down tick on the Epicure, again holding back our blockers. I'm gonna cast a Memnite into a Bushwhacker. I'm gonna tax in for a lot, and we're just gonna hope we get lucky with the Cremator. We draw a Haywire Might for turn, which makes me think that we can actually play this slow. We'll kill the Reckless Bushwhacker, tack in for three, play a Haywire Might, and play our land. I'm gonna tax in for three we'll block with haywire might before damage we will sacrifice the haywire might trying to kill the blood token and a shrapnel blast us in response going down to two but we gain two so we'll stay at two all right we gotta get lucky let's draw land please we draw a bubble, let's go! We'll cast out our bobble, then a Tarmogoyf, and cast out our Crater Maker. And here comes the Cremator. We'll target the opponent and do a Castle 18, maybe? Match three, we are on the draw, but with a great hand. Opponent goes turn one, Power Plant. We draw Haywire Might for turns. We'll fetch Shock, grabbing a Blood Crypt, and Thoughts using the opponent. And we'll take the Warping Whale. Opponent plays Mine. We draw a Swamp for turn. We'll Shock in a Stomping Ground, play a Haywire Might and a DRC, then pass to the opponent. And on our end step, they kill our DRC with this member, falling to 16. They then play out a power plant we draw forest for turn cast out a tarmogoyf back in for one play a vert and pass they play out a tower unlocking tron but no plays for the opponent we top deck a cremator we attack in for five play out a forest and then cast a cremator randomly discard in our swamp and we'll pass back and on the end step they cast a warping whale making a one one then opponent attacks in for one we'll just take one go into 11 and they have an o stone we draw a bobble for turn we'll go to combat they blow up an o stone destroying our board we'll play out our Rin, tick up on a fetch then play out both the land and bobble opponent plays a relic out immediately cracks it exile all graveyards and draw on a card <laughs> and top decks a car and ugh we'll bobble ourselves in response seen a fury that's probably good enough to keep they then play out a liquid metal coating and we'll draw our fury still they turn off our renin six so we'll cast out our fury killing the garn then down tick on the opponent and we have lethal next turn with fury plus a bolt opponent passes back we'll lead on an attack with fury then down tick with Ren and go for the bolt wow when we won the game let's get on to sideboarding we'll take out two renin six two bolts and a tar fire for Shattering Spree, Haywire Might, and three Blood Moon effects. Game two, our star looks amazing. Opponent leads on tower into a map. We draw another Yargle. We'll fetch out a turn one mountain and play our DRC. Casting a Bobble, surveilling. We'll put a land in the yard. Cast another Bobble. Put any Haywire Might in the yard as well. An opponent gut shots our DRC on the instep. We'll Bobble them in the upkeep. They reveal another gut shot. They play a Yavamaya into a Sylvan Scrine. Getting a power plant. We'll bobble them again. Seeing a car in the Great Creator. In our upkeep, we draw a Goyf, a DRC, and a Forest. We'll play Forest and cast our Goyf. Opponent plays a power plant and passes. We draw Black Leaf Cliffs. Back in for five. Play a Verdant, fetching out a Swamp. Then cast our Magus. On our instep, they crack map. And they find a Mountain. Opponent plays a Mountain into a Relic. We draw another Land for turn. We'll attack in for seven. They pop a Relic, meaning they only take two. Play a Land and cast out our DRC. And they gut shut our DRC. They play another mountain into a Karn. They down tick grabbing a Haywire Might, and we draw a Haywire Might for turn. We'll attack down their Karn, and they block our Magus. Then we'll play out a Haywire Might into another mountain. They play a mountain and tick up Karn. We draw a mountain. We'll attack Karn for two, and then for four. Opponent does nothing. And we top deck a Cremator. Let's run it up! And we'll dome the opponent for easy 18. Let's get into match number four. 
Sadly, in match number four, I was going to show this match, but we got absolutely demolished by Twiddle Storm in both game one and game two. They ended up just getting a quick combo both games, and they're just much faster deck than us, and our disruption in game two just wasn't present. So we're going to skip this game because they were both non-games, and let's get into match number five. Match number five, we're on the draw, and hand's a little too slow. And our six is a little weak looking, but I'm going to keep it for science. When it starts the game revealing Chancellor of the Forge, attacks us for one, and plays a Scalding Tarn. We're going to tap Find a Tar Fire, we'll play Mountain, and hold that up. When it plays a Misty, and tax in for another one. On the end step, we'll Tar Fire the 1-1. One, one. Top deck a Bobble. We'll Fetch Shock in the Stomping Ground, cast our Goyf, and cast a Bobble. And they both resolve. On the upkeep, we'll Bobble them, seeing a Shardless Agent. Opponent casts a Seasoned Pyromancer, discarding Fable, and a Chancellor. We draw a Haywire Might and a Bloodstained Mire. We'll play a Haywire Might, then attack in for 6. Opponent plays a Gemstone Cavern into a Shardless. Cascading into a Glimpse. They get two Chancellors, and we might be able to survive if they don't have another Cascader. They attack in for 8. And all we need is a land off the top, and we actually win this. We untap. Drum roll. <laughs> Let's go. We'll grab a swamp and cast our cremator. Target them. And did we see this win? No way. And we win the game. Let's go. Let's get it all to sideboarding. We're going to take out two Haywire Might and three Lightning Bolt for Unlicensed Her, Stamping Sphere, and Chalice of the Void. For game two, our hands a snap keep. For game actions, they put in a ley line and reveal chance they're getting a 1 1. They play a Colony Garden, making a 0 1 and attacking for 1. We top dug a Bloodstained Mire for turn. We'll play out of Verdon. Ono plays an Ottawara into a Vote Wave Sifter. They attack us for another 1. We're down to 18. We'll fetch out a Stomping ground and we top deck a hearse we'll go bloodstained mire find a swamp and play out a chalice for zero they untap crack a clue and play another garden and we draw a cremator we'll play a flooded hills into a forest playing out our fable and attack in for two opponent shocks and a steam vents and cast out a fable we draw a land for turn we'll discard hearse and tarmogwyf grab another fable and a hearse we'll attack in for five opponent takes all five cast out our fable fetch a mountain and cast out our hearse with fable opponent loots away a glimpse and a chancellor of the forge they besage you our chalice then cast a shardless cascade into a glimpse and looks like the cascade wasn't too powerful they use dark dwellers to try and cast the glimpse so we'll exile it with our hearse then they make a bunch of tokens opponent has another cascade spell Getting in their last glimpse and this was the next cascade pretty decent but still not dead on board then opponent casts another glimpse in the yard with the dark dwellers and the final glimpse is good enough because we cannot target them because of leyline of sanctities so we'll scoop them up and get into game three for game three we're going to take out two hearse and a bolt for three haywire mites to deal with ley lines game three our star is a little slow but gonna keep it when it reveals a turn zero ley line we'll fetch shock a stomping ground and play a haywire mine we top deck a traverse we'll fetch shock for a blood crypt and play a damping sphere and attack in for one when it plays a misty into evoked fear killing our haywire might we untap drawing a drc play cavern on shaman playing a drc that's uncounterable then cast a traverse and we will bin a bobble and we'll pick up a swamp opponent plays a scalding tarn and passes we draw a fable for turn we will slam that and we'll surveil a crater maker to the yard we'll attack in for three and deploy at our swamp opponent plays an island and passes we'll do a land away and a cremator top decking a chalice so we're gonna lead on chalice and we saw a yargo on top so we have to bin it sadly and in response to the chalice they cast about an outburst casting a glimpse and their cascade was not too great and that's two besages gone so we might actually be able to steal this one we'll attack in with both and we'll cast out a cremator sadly having to discard Rin though and then step they crack a clue but it plays a Woodfoot hill into a vote foundation breaker killing our chalice we draw a bobble for turn and flip fable back in for seven then we'll play a bobble out seeing a shardless agent and they shuffle away on their end step we draw a land off the bobble and opponent plays a scalding tarn fetches it and dies we get a 4-1 with the deck all i can say is wow we got a 4-1 with this deck we're gonna open up the chest see what we get we ended up getting a yargo let's go Thank you guys for watching. Please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.